And this might be an overstatement, but I think this might be the cushion of this year for me. Hey guys, it's Sue here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this Moonshot new cushion, micro setting fit cushion for you guys. And to be honest, I actually wasn't planning on filming this at all. I just thought I would just try this cushion out by myself and just see how it is. But this cushion impressed me so much that I was like, okay, I have to share this with the world. I have to share it with you guys because that's what I do and that's what I love doing. So today I'm just gonna go old school, old style and just give this cushion a very, very thorough review. So yeah, let's get this video started. So let's start with the packaging. What I love about this cushion is that first, I fell in love with this beautiful hologram on top. Do you see that rainbow glittery hologram? I think it's just a really nice, cool item to have in your pouch and it looks cool to carry it around. Compared to the other Moonshot cushions, it's actually pretty similar. Like it's not that much bulkier or that much slimmer. I'd say it's pretty much the same width or the, the thickness. And inside, once you open it up, what I really also love about this cushion is the shape of the puff. So it's not your regular rounded circular shape. It actually has a pointy side at one side and this really helps you get in there under the eyes and also around the nose and under the nose as well. So I I thought I really really do like this pointed shape and it really does help a lot when you're trying to get in there in the nooks and crannies and once you open that up you just have your regular cushion inside. For the shade I got mine in 201 that's my shade in Moonshot but I will say that this tone or the shade color of this cushion is actually a bit more darker than this one so I've been trying this out again just to see like how it was and I did notice that this comes out to be much more bright on my skin compared to this one. I'm usually in between the shade like 21 and 23 on a regular basis but this one I got really tan so I'm like a good 23 shade 23 and this just really seemed to fit my skin shade and tone. Yeah I actually put this on right now and there's not much difference between my face tone and my neck tone right. This cushion has pretty decent amount of coverage even with one layer it did a pretty decent job in covering my chin and all those acne and postules. However I I do like going in with a second layer and what I love about this is that I'll talk about this later in longevity it that doesn't get mucky or it doesn't get messy even after a very long day so usually because I have so much to cover on my chin and the sides of my cheeks I do tend to pile on a lot of products if I'm not too careful and at the end of the day that just results in a huge 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 mess where I just I just want to take my makeup off it gets mixed in with the oils and it just looks like it's dwelling on top of my skin so it's never never pretty but with this one even if I pile it on it doesn't get messy or mucky even in this ridiculously hot weather and you guys know I sweat like crazy in the summer so considering all those factors that would just get in the way of having it like a good longevity this just manages to power through all that so with the other moonshot cushions it's pretty much straightforward how their formulas formulas are this one is definitely a moist glowy type of cushion while this one is a more of a matte and I actually mentioned this as one of my favorite cushions to use I think last year and I still do love it but this is somewhere in between so in Korean we have a term that explains a certain formula that goes which translates to you know in the inside it's very moist but on the outside it's very matte and velvety and at first to be honest guys for the longest time I was like what does that even mean right but after using this I finally understood what the term means so literally when you apply this by the way, it has a cooling effect, which is great for the summer. When you apply this, it really goes on moist, but after time and as time goes by, it kind of dries the outer surface, kind of dries out to be a matte finish, but not in a way that it completely dries your skin out or whatsoever. It just on the surface just seems to turn matte and velvety. So I really, really like this formula because in the summer, even though it's like super, super hot outside inside because of all the AC, it gets really dry and cold so I felt like this kind of covered all those aspects of this crazy weather so even though when you're outside because it has a matte and velvety finish it kind of goes on strong but when you're on the inside and you're freezing cold and your skin feels like it's about to rip off and like crack up any second this the moistness 
the moistness the very hydrating part of the formula actually kind of protects your skin from all that so yeah the formula is unbelievably crazily good as for the finish like I mentioned guys it does become more velvety and matte as time goes by but it's not like crazily matte or crazily drying on your skin whatsoever yeah I think this would do great on all types of skin so I have been testing this cushion out for a good week now and each of the times I was usually out for a whole day and so far I haven't had a single day where this ended up being really messy and mucky on my skin Skin. It did kind of settle on my smile line crease, but on the, like my chin or the places where I put two layers, it didn't get messy at all. And for the most part, it just stayed put. And I think that was the biggest reasons why I was so impressed by this cushion and one of the reasons why I wanted to share this cushion with you guys. Okay guys, uh, sorry to interrupt, but before I get too carried away with longevity, I do want to mention that I have been wearing these two specific products whenever I'm using this cushion. So this is the Biodroma Sebia Matte Control and this is the, of course, love of my life, the Edu House Fix and Fix Fixer Powder. Now usually when I do the longevity test, I actually don't use any other base makeup whatsoever, but I didn't it would be fair for this little cushion if I tested the longevity out in this drastic weather because honestly in this hot humidity I don't think any base makeup would survive on its own so I have been using these two but I still do want to mention that even when I'm um, using other foundations and cushions with these two products the longevity is for me nowhere near as good as what this cushion has been showing so far and obviously if you're not someone who uses like base products or powders obviously you will have a different experience when it comes to this cushion longevity it won't last as long so yeah <laughs> just to sum this baby up it does have the exquisite formula where it kind of goes on moist but eventually it kind of turns out to have like a matte velvety finish with time and it has decent amount of coverage and you can definitely build it up without worrying if it will get messy after a very long day and now that I think about it I, I am actually uh, impressed by the shade or the color range or the tone of this cushion because it's not too starkly bright so I feel like more people can enjoy this uh, cushion and of course I love the pointed pot because you can really get in there under the eye and also around the nose so it just makes the whole application process seem easier so just to exemplify even more how much I am impressed by this cushion so normally when I go out to dinner or when I'm hanging out with my friends or I'm just going out in general I do prefer to wear foundations just because I feel like they provide more longevity like a better longevity but nowadays I've been going in with this which is something that I rarely do I rarely opt for a cushion when I, when I know I'm going to be out for a very long time so yeah this is just an amazing option that I've been reaching out my hand for because it's almost as good as a foundation so I love this and I highly highly recommend it I don't think it comes with a refill but still I think it's worth it and this might be an overstatement but I think this might be the cushion of this year for me I still have to use it for quite a while but I will definitely keep you guys updated later so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys found this video very helpful make sure to check the cushion out if you're interested I definitely do think it's one of the top cushions I ever ever tried and that's saying a lot because I have tried a lot please like subscribe and follow me on Instagram so you can hang out more and I'll see you guys in my next ciao